Hello. Here, I'd like to briefly introduce our semi-supervised generative adversarial network. This is a novel semi-supervised regression model, and we apply it to the problem of gene expression inference. Let's start with some background information. In human genome, there are around 20,000 protein coding genes, and the profiling of the whole human genome for large-scale samples is expensive and difficult. According to previous biological analysis, the expression of human genes are highly correlated, so one cost-effective strategy for genome-level profiling is to measure the profiling of just a small set of informative landmark genes and use the landmark gene expression profiles to infer the rest of genes, which are called target genes. So, how to effectively and e efficiently infer the target gene expression based on the landmark genes is an important and attractive problem in biological area. In previous works, several regression models have been proposed for this problem, but all of them are formulated in a fully supervised manner. Here we call the samples with the profiling of both landmark and target genes as labeled, while the samples with only landmark gene expression profiling as unlabeled. As we introduced previously, the collection of labeled data is much more expensive and difficult than unlabeled data. So in this work, we propose a novel semi-supervised regression model to incorporate the large amount of unlabeled data to strengthen the prediction. We call our model as SEMIGAN. In this illustration figure, we use X to denote the landmark genes and Y for target genes. We consider three different kinds of losses in our model. Firstly, we consider the adversarial loss as in traditional GAN structure and learn the distribution of landmark genes, target genes, as well as their drone distribution. Also, we construct an inverse network to project X into a latent subspace and use the reconstruction loss as well as translation loss to train the inverse network. Last but not least, we build an inference network F for target gene expression inference and use both the generated and labeled data for the training. It is notable that we introduce the collaborative training between the generative and inference network to strengthen the prediction and also involve the unlabeled data XU to improve the learning of the landmark gene distribution and also provide more information for the training of the inference network. So that's pretty much for our model. Thanks for your attention.